Hi everyone, welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. You can call me Kate. Thanks so much for stopping by. I apologize for the length of time it has been since I've uploaded to this channel. Um, life has been hectic and I'm just going to briefly go over that in a few moments. I am recording in my car because it's football season. My husband is inside watching a game and yelling at the television. So, yeah, I came out here to record where you're not going to hear as much of his background noise. You may hear traffic going by. You might occasionally even hear a cat meowing as I think Possum is wandering around here somewhere. So, the first thing you're going to notice is that my hair is much shorter and it has been dyed. My birthday was last Monday and it's a driver's license renewal year. I wanted to get my hair in even tone. Before that, so I bought all the dye and everything to even it out, have it all the same color for the for my driver's license picture. And wouldn't you know it, my wallet got stolen. Two days before my birthday, my wallet went missing. I can't say that it was stolen, but somewhere between Dollar General and Walmart, I no longer had my wallet. So either it fell out of my pocket while I was in a parking lot and somebody helped themselves to my wallet and the hundred some odd dollars that was in it or I was outright pickpocketed who knows but it was going to be a driver's license renewal year anyway so I went ahead I cut my hair cut all the dead gross ends off you know at least I didn't have to pay to get my driver's license replaced and then a few months later get my driver's license renewed uh if it had to happen it chose a good time to happen so I dealt with replacing the credit cards, the bank cards, all that stuff. You know, put them on lockdown as soon as I realized they were missing. No unusual charges. The only thing I'm really out is some time and the $150, $150 that was in the wallet. Which, of course, that sucks. But it is what it is. And at the same time that's happening, the day before my wallet went missing, I had a bug bite. I'm assuming it was a bug bite. It was acting like a bug bite. On Thursday night, night I went to bed with a small red bump on my thigh that felt like a bug bite. Didn't think anything of it. Friday morning, I wake up. Still there, a little irritated. Didn't think anything of it. So I went to work, did my stuff. Noticed it was feeling a little more irritated as the day went by. Didn't think much of it. I have work to do. Get off, finish work around 6 o'clock. I actually sit down and I'm... It was on the back of my legs. I can't really see it. I had to get a hand mirror to kind of kind kind of look at it, you know. Hold that hand mirror at a strange angle to get a look at it. And, um, yeah, that thing had swollen up to three times its size, it was, it was nasty. It was a full-blown abscess. Of course, the doctor's office is closed by that point in time. I pretty much had to do a home treatment on it. I could have gone to an emergency room, but they wouldn't have done anything different than what I did with the addition of maybe an antibiotic shot and an oral antibiotic. So I did what I needed to do. I drained it, poured a little peroxide on it to boil off, uh, used betadine to disinfect the area around it, packed it with triple antibiotic ointment, threw a bandage on it. And then, of course, when Monday rolled around, I did have to, after getting my driver's license renewed and going to the bank to get a new debit card, then I went to my doctor and I got a prescription for an oral antibiotic. It is a gaping open wound. It will take a couple weeks to heal completely. And I have to be very, very careful about keeping it clean, keeping it bandaged, putting antibiotic ointment on it. With where it is located, there is a possibility that every time I go to the bathroom, it's going to become contaminated. So every time I have to use the restroom, I have to change the bandage. So, yeah, I'm walking around with 3x3 three three gauze pads in my pocket. That's fun. So, those are the incidental things that I've been dealing with. Um, the last time I talked to you guys, 
I was establishing my grooming business. Uh, that's going well, but it is very time consuming. Of course, like any small business is. I am the marketing department. I am the customer service department. I am the scheduling coordinator. I am the groomer. I handle billing and everything. I had to create an animal information form so that I am aware of vaccination status and things like that on the animals that are coming to me. I've had to create marketing materials. All of that, that is me, 100% me. And of course, I've been investing so much of my time there that I'm running out of time to edit my videos. I also have four dogs of my own that need my attention and a husband who gets very cranky if I don't spend enough time with him. And unfortunately, that means my videos have taken a hit. I'm hoping that I can streamline the process and keep things moving. I've also been investing more time on my other channel, Kate's Country Critters, because that is where my grooming videos will go, except for Tamir. I will keep Tamir on this channel. As far as Kate's Country Critters goes, I've mostly been posting the videos of the shelter grooms I have been doing. I am prioritizing videos of shelter dogs over my professional grooms because, well, the shelter dogs need help. I haven't posted any videos to that channel in a couple of weeks because, well, something very interesting has happened. I'm not taking credit for this 100% on me. It is not 100% me. It is me working with a team of other volunteers. I groom the dogs. I take the videos. I take still pictures of the dogs. Then I post those still pictures to the local Facebook group along with a little bit of a bio on the dog. My observations of the dog's behaviors, what type of home I think would be most suited for the dog, and basically try to find the dog a home. The entire time they are in this particular shelter, they are on a clock. That clock is ticking, and we do our best to find these dogs a home before that clock runs out. Here lately, once I've gotten those posts made, other people share them from the group, promote them to other groups, and next thing you know, a lot of the dogs that I have been grooming lately, they find a placement, either a foster home, a forever home, or a rescue organization that will rehabilitate them and train them to become pets they're all leaving the shelter within two to three days and i'm not having that turnover that pressure to get their videos posted is now off of me because i'm not having to race the clock to get them out of there they're already gone and to me, that is amazing. That is wonderful. That is, these are, these are companion animal lives that are being saved through my efforts and the efforts of other volunteers. And that just pleases me so much. And that brings me to my Patreon. There's a lot of work that I need to do there before I'm able to launch it. I have to figure out my tiers. I would love to have like a $2 a month option, a $5 a month option, $10 a month option. But I'm also thinking about bringing in a $25 a month option for my physical clients. For, or maybe, maybe make it a $20 a month option. I'm not sure. For my physical clients. A two-hour dog room costs $75. That's what I'm charging for a two-hour dog room. That's going to do most of your large breed dogs. That's going to bathe, brush, nails, ears, everything you need on a, on a large or giant dog that is not heavily matted. But I am thinking about bringing in the Patreon at the $25 a month level. That way, people can pay $25 a month and after three months, that's 12 weeks. Bring your dog in. It's a free groom. Well, it's not a free groom. You've paid for it. You've prepaid for it. And when you're looking at huskies, 
that will get matted. Or Great Pyrenees that's hard to handle. It's a very large dog. Most of the groomers locally are going to charge $100, $150 to do those breeds. So if I'm going to do it for, if you're going to pay $25 a month, I'm going to give you $100 to $150 worth of service for that $75. It's just you have to pay me for three three months before you get it. So that's just something I'm thinking about doing. If I could figure out how to arrange that in Patreon. And finally, the last major life update for me is my other new job. Well, it's actually my old job. Right around the start of COVID, I worked for a merchandising company. I went into this major retailer to service one specific department every week has to happen on Tuesdays. Well, since I groom shelter dogs on Tuesday afternoons, that means I have Tuesday mornings open. This is a little job. It's going to be it's going to be anywhere between 6 and 12 hours a week, and then the stuff that I don't get done on Tuesday morning, I can usually come back later in the week, here and there, a little here and there to get it done. The representative who was working this closest store to me, which is 12 miles away from me, two miles away from my grooming space, she was driving 38 miles to service this store, and then she had three other stores that she had to service. The, with all four stores having to be done on Tuesdays, that meant she was putting in means that she was putting in a minimum of a 10-hour day on Tuesdays, and there were occasions where she would actually put in a full 16-hour day. It was wearing her out. So, she asked me if I would be willing to take on this one store. And I was like, okay, hey, that's a little steady income. That is something I can count on, because right now with dog grooming, until I build my client base, it's not a steady income. So that's what's been going on in my life, and I truly hope that I will be a little more consistent with getting you guys videos again. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm hoping to get this channel back on a twice a month schedule and streamlining my content a little better. It's all about time management. I don't have enough time to do everything that I need to do. I am a one-woman show. Thanks so much for your support. I will see you next time.